Hi guys. Hi guys, and welcome back to Rexy's Reviews. I'm here with Dino Kid, and this video is to celebrate us hitting 100 subscribers. So we just want to say a massive thank you to all of you for helping it make it possible. Uh, we are absolutely stoked. So as promised, here is our Dino Room full collection tour. Uh, it is a bit of a long video, but hopefully it will be worth it. And as long as you haven't fallen asleep by the end of it, then we'll consider it a win. So here we are, guys. Let's get going. Right then, guys, let's get started. So the first thing we've got is this huge... Rather large uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom cinema vinyl banner. So this thing is about 8 foot tall by about 4 foot wide. So that thing is massive. So that's the first thing that you see when you get into the loft. So, or attic. Uh, that's where I keep my collection. Uh, next up we have got... A Toys R Us Jurassic Park 3 uh, shelf topper stand with the spino. Jumping up, we have got one of uh, the wooden logo signs made by Adam from I Designs by Adam. I will put a link in the description section to adam's work so you can check it out and purchase it as well uh, i have got a few of his pieces that we will see throughout the video uh, next up we have my plushies uh, not a huge collector of these i'll be honest with you um so i don't tend to spend a great deal of money on them just if they come up cheap uh, we've got a few different ones a few different makes some of the original uh, Jurassic Park ones as well um, I think these ones are the let's see if I remember rightly these are the dank no sorry those are the ace ones mini me look after the bright you saw thank you and that's a Duncan one it so we've got those uh next up we'll spin round onto the wall we have a cardboard jurassic world fallen kingdom logo uh that was part of an argos display for the film release uh, what else have we got we've got the couple of replica license plates we've got the nedry one and then we've just got a generic jurassic park blank one i've got another couple of metal signs one an electrified fence with a raptor on uh danger velociraptor containment Danger, high voltage. Uh, we've got a Lego Jurassic World uh, shop promo, part of a stand. Uh, over here we've got the some more bits of said stand. Uh, jumping around. Got a couple of the Mattel, uh, not Mattel, Hasbro Jurassic World pieces. So this is the one with the uh, UV light. Yep. Um, on the bottom we have got a set of Super Colossals. There we are. Da, 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 da. We'll jump up onto the roof. We have the 
the header for the Jurassic World Lego video game. We've got another one of Adam's signs. And another one of Adam's signs. These things are awesome. Uh, we've got a random T-Rex mask that I have stuffed and mounted. Make them 3D and stand up so I can hang them up there. Uh, let's have a look. You will see and notice throughout the video that I have tried to use every bit of space that I have got. Because I am a little bit restricted. Uh, we've got the original battle, battle damage figures. Uh, this isn't a full line yet. There is a few that I am still on the hunt for. Uh, I do apologise guys. I do seem to be struggling to focus a little bit. Uh, then moving into the attack packs. This is a complete line. I've got all of these. Uh, I think I have already done a full line review on these so if you are interested in those ones check the video out uh, top row That is those. Uh, where should we go next? Next up, we have the Roravores. Uh, this is a full line. I've got all of these. And Barry on the bottom. Uh, got another super colossal blue. Uh, then what else have we got? We have got the Matchbox uh, Dino Hauler series. So here in the UK, we never got the Mosasaurus in subset. Uh, I think it was only a very limited release over in the States as well anyway. So unfortunately, that one is not here. But if anybody can help me out, I would be very grateful. Uh, next, we've got the Lost World matchbox action systems uh, so these carded vehicles there is six all together in the set i have got five of them so far uh, i am currently missing number two which is on its way uh, i managed to secure one of them recently so hopefully that will be with me by the end of the month Moving up, we have a couple of the original Jurassic World Matchbox Twin Packs. Uh, these don't really represent anything to do with the films. They're just random vehicles that they decided to make. Uh, we've got a Rage Rig set from the Lost World Action Systems. So this is one of two. Uh, I've got the other one. Coming with the other carded vehicle that I've just mentioned. Uh, 
and then we've got the Matchbox Fallen Kingdom Island Escape play set. Uh, there is two of these play sets, so I'm still in search for the Harbour Rescue one. Um, hopefully be able to get a hold of that before too much longer. Uh, got a random T-Rex bust. Uh, this isn't a JP item, but just nice. Like it. Uh, what else have we got? Random picture up there. God creates dinosaurs. You know the script. Uh, the obligatory film cell picture. I think everybody needs to have at least one of them in the collection. Uh, just do a quick spin up there. We've got an original... The Jurassic Park, The Lost World lampshade. That is pretty cool. Uh, jump down. We have got my Jurassic clothing line. Um, so that's made up of hoodies, t-shirts, jumpers, um, a varsity jacket. There's absolutely all sorts in there. Um, so if you want to see more of those, let me know. And I will happily do a clothing run through. Uh, where should we go next? Let's spin around here. Let's jump up. And we have the Dino Lab DNA, the Dino DNA Lab Kits. There we are. Then we have the Dino Rivals Attack Packs. This is another full line. We'll do the bottom row first. Uh, then we'll jump up onto the top row. Sorry for the creaky floor, guys. Uh, next, we have got... i tell you what, we'll jump up onto the roof. Got some movie posters. These are repops. So don't worry, guys. They're not original ones getting damaged by being stuck to the roof. Uh, that is an original poster for the Jurassic Park Part 2 snes game uh that's a massive poster that originally came with i believe it was total magazine if memory serves me right uh it's a double-sided one the back of it is a yearly planner uh, so obviously that is this side being displayed is the only side worth being shown nobody in the right mind is going to put that against the wall so that you can see a year planner. Uh, let's spin round. We've got a couple of random non-Jurassic bits. Uh, this big T-Rex is a little projector. So you put slides in its back. And they get projected from the lens here onto a wall or something. Uh, a couple of the newer Dino Rivals battle damage. Uh, only got a few of them so far. So that's a line I'm working on. Uh, we'll then move down below them. So we've got the off-road rescue rig. Then we've got the deep dive submarine. This one lights up. Um, got a couple of my own 3D printed bits. So we've got a Jurassic Park 3 resonating chamber. Uh, quite recent to the new to the world of 3d printing so not perfect with it yet but i'm getting there a random t-rex jigsaw puzzle 
and a printed Raptor Claw. Next down we have a couple of uh, loose vehicles. So we've got the Lost Worlds Ground Tracker and Net Trapper, if memory serves me right, that's what it's called. Um, then we've got some card display boxes. So we've got the Lost Worlds um, Dino Stickers set. Uh, we've got the Jurassic Park movie cards box. We've got the Deluxe Gold Series movie cards. Um, that's a full box in there. But the the card itself at the top hasn't actually been pushed out. So hence I keep that one closed. Uh, we've got the Panini Dino Trackers trading cards from Fallen Kingdom. It's a new sealed box. Security seal still on it. Uh, moving down, we have got some of the got some of the Hasbro pieces. Uh, I think like most of us were we're not massive fans of the Hasbro stuff. Uh, the designs and the quality just wasn't there. So I do pick these up and I do intend to try and get them all eventually but just when i can find them for very cheap prices i'm not willing to spend a lot of money on these uh on the bottom we've got a imagine x rex that came as part of a bundle that i got and then some random magazines uh when i was a kid there was this awesome weekly magazine called dinosaurs if you can read that upside down uh, that came with a build your own t-rex skeleton and then eventually after that it came with a out of plastic skin so that was cool uh, then we've got the savage strikes again this isn't a full line yet it's the one i'm working on These are cool. Uh, we've, got, we've got playing cards. Got a JP3 Dino Dex set. Uh, electronic. Uh, there's no batteries in this one, but it does work. Uh, definitely had some love and some use over the years, this one. Uh, this isn't mine, this is the one that I picked up on eBay. We've then got the Tiger Jurassic Park electronic game. Uh, this one does work. Run! Mm. Run that off. There we go. Uh, what have we got next? We have the Jurassic World Medallion Medal Collection. Uh, part completed. Still waiting. Still hunting for three more of those. I think it's the Mosasaurus, uh, Stegosaurus, and. I can't for the life of me remember the the third one that I'm missing. But, yep, yeah, that's the medal set. Then we've got some watches. We've got the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom watch with uh, two milk chocolate bars in a tin. We've got the Burger King promo watches and the Jurassic Park Spinal watch. Uh, no batteries in this one. Uh, yeah, but how cool is that? Uh, we've got some pencil tins, stationary sets. So these were PG Tips promotions, these ones, and came with a, a pencil and a ruler with stencils in. 
they are cool. Um, original Jurassic Park one. Somebody picked up for 25p somewhere. Once upon a time, probably from a school fair or something like that. A bring and buy sale for anyone who remembers those back in the day. Uh, then we've got the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom uh, toiletries bath related stuff. So we've got things like bath fizzes, um, fun bath pistol, T Rex squirter. Uh, volcano duo bath salt and whatnot bath dust sorry uh, i've got a toothbrush and toothpaste set excavation fun and then a different toothpaste and toothbrush set uh so pick that one up from tk max for 3.99 and then about a month later home bargains got them in for about one pound fifty so i was a bit gutted about that one but never mind um, next we have got another couple of the Hasbro toys, and we've got the newer box version of the Mosasaurus. La 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 la, we've got some more bath toiletry related stuff. And then we've got the Jurassic Park Dinosaurs Triceratops. Then what have we got up here? We have the Massive Biters. So we've got the two variations of the Sarcosuchus. Uh, Albertosaurus. The Seats. And the Tarbot. Then we've got the Battle Damage Albertosaurus. We've got the newer Savage Strikes. And we've got some puppets so we've got the full body triceratops stegosaurus and t-rex then we've got a head only well bust of the t-rex and we've got the t-rex and monolophosaurus battle damage twin pack and jump up the top oh, we'll go here first Got the Battle Damage Spino uh, that I just got last week. This thing is awesome. It's been really difficult to track down. Because obviously it was never released in the UK. Um, really cool. That thing rocks. Yeah, card set. Um, what have we got? We've got some of the fossil dig kits and craft activity sets and things. And um, we've got the Jurassic World Path game, Jurassic World Toaster, uh, T Rex model dig kit, and fossil casting kit. Um, then what have we got? JP picture, a couple of random cars, um, some drinks bottles and lunch boxes and things like that. And then moving down, we've got dinosaur DNA boot kit, um, press out model box kits. Dig and make, and down the bottom, we've got the Parker Jurassic Park board game, uh, Lost World board game, and Jurassic Park 3 board game made by MB. Uh, they're all complete, so that was a good find. 
Um, then what have we got? We've got the original Kenner Dino. So we've got the two Dino Scream ones. Um, got the Dilophosaurus and Velociraptor. Um, go into the basic dinos. Yeah, I all know what these are. Mm, got a couple of Spanish carded dinos tucked at the back there. Uh, a couple of capture copters. And, uh, moving up, we've got uh, English carded dinos. And a couple of Spanish carded figures. Um, then we've got the second wave Nedry with the photo movie card. Uh, what have we got at the top there? We've got a Tansit Cobra. Uh, we've got a Series 2 Ellie. And the Dino Trackers Harpoon Harrison. Uh, we'll come down the middle and we've got the Diecast Metal Dino Mini Twin Packs. There we are. Uh, let's see, where should we go next? Let's go this way. Uh, I've got a random uh, bag with blue. Danger, extinction level event. That's from Fallen Kingdom. Uh, I've got another random Jurassic Park bag. Um, uh, let me go. We'll jump up here. <whistles> uh, we've got the Lost World humans. We've got Dina Stark, Ian Malcolm. Roland Tembo, Eddie Carr, Nick Van Owen. We've got the green hat, brown gloves variant, and the no hat, brown gloves. Uh, still need to find the hat and green gloves variant. Still looking for that one. Uh, we've got the Cyclops Raptor, Triceratops, Raptor. Junior T-Rex with the uh, broken leg and the young Pachycephalosaurus ram head. Uh, on here we've also got the Jurassic Park Danger Board game. Got a 1992-93 Jurassic Park bag. Uh, got the Jurassic Park, uh, sorry, Jurassic World board game. Jurassic World bag. Got a Creation Lab Discovery Kit. Uh, another couple of Super Colossals. Then up here we have the Mattel Jurassic World people. So we've got Owen and Blue, Claire and the Stegosaurus, Maisie and the Baby T Rex, Zia and the Triceratops. We've got, we've got Lockwood Battle Owen, Dino Trainer Owen, Weekly, Mercery and Ankylosaurus. Uh, then right down the bottom, what have we got? What have we got? There you go. Mercenary and Dimorphodon. So that was the one that was commonly found in the first release, uh, repackaged, oh, sorry, packaged and labelled incorrectly. <coughs> yeah. Moving over here, what have we got? We've got a loose Owen and High Hide. And, uh, Extreme Chomp and T Rex. Legacy Extreme Chomp and T Rex. We've got the Book and Junior T Rex Extra uh, Legacy set. We've got the Camp Cretaceous Epic Roaring T-Rex. Find his button. Mm, yeah. uh, then we've 
got the newer version bite and fight box but the older dino rivals bite and fight t-rex box then we've got the original thrash and throw t-rex hey uh, what we've got moving down here we've got some of the 3d puzzle sets uh still looking for the brachiosaurus set to complete those there should be four different ones all together um loads of the lost world dinosaur candy eggs so we've got two full shipping containers of them and a load of loose boxes um got some jurassic world stem kits skeleton sets so still looking for the triceratops and pteranodon got some mugs tyrannosaurus rex anatomy kit that thing is awesome i uh, haven't got around to doing a an in-depth review yet but that is on my list of pieces to review uh 3d puzzle uh, what have we got jeep wrangler net rescue set and primal pals blue and Feed and Frenzy Indominus. Got the Snap Squads. These are all full lines in the boxes. Um, and that's Wave 1 4 pack in there. You know what they are, guys. Um, moving over, what have we got? Got some of the masks and puppets. So money tins. And then down on the bottom, we've got Monopoly Jurassic World Edition, Labyrinth board game, and a couple of jigsaws. Over here, we've got my original Lost World pieces. So these are all mine from when I was a kid. Uh, they have been opened, they have been played with, most of them, um, but just looked after. So this was the original... Spinosaurus uh, Raptor We've got the Ramhead adult Pachycephalosaurus with its uh, bust out capture gear uh, Stegosaurus uh, with its dino damage frill that would go on I'll do this one handed there we go, it sits on there uh, what have we got, we've got a Lost World Hatchling T-Rex got the Thrasher got a mint in box high hide uh, a couple of random minis, Legacy Packy um, 12 inch Raptor got the Dino Snare Dirt Bike with Carter that's a mint in box one uh, Giant Pteranodon Steel Beak Chasmosaurus see if I can remember I think it's that one mm, yeah. uh, Parasaurolophus tucked at the back there uh, that one makes sounds as well. Uh, what else have we got? got Dino Tracker Adventure Set. Uh, a boxed net trapper. And a couple of boxed complete ground trackers. Um, we've got Ian Malcolm Glider Pack. And we've got another open but boxed uh, Dino Snare Dirt Bike. Tucked at the back there. Oh, we've got a couple of posters and pictures on the overhang here. Uh, there we go. A couple of randoms. Just to be clear, these are not my artwork, so please don't sue me. Yeah, uh, where are we going next? We'll go up here. 
So we've got the grey edition uh, Indoor Raptor Funko Pop uh, McDonald's Cups Four there, other two up there. We've got the box lunch special uh, Clever Girl Funko Pops. We've got one completely sealed and one open just to get the t shirt and the pop out. We've got a plushy key ring there. And we've got some loose humans. So we've got a mixture of Kenner ones and Mattel ones here. Couple of different, different versions of Ludlow. Uh, you can sort of see the, the size difference between the Mattel ones and the Kenner ones. Uh, these Kenner figures, the main five, they're my original ones from when I was a kid. So in the whole, they are all complete, with the exception of Tim's goggles and Nedry's face mask. Uh, those bits have gone missing, unfortunately, but all the rest is there, including all the hatchlings. Muldoon's is tucked behind there. Uh, that is a bubblegum container from Jurassic Park back in the day. Got a couple of cups. That was the other bubblegum sweet container back then. Uh, some more Funko Pops. Got my 3D printed Barbasol can attempt. Uh, work in progress still. Got some random bits. Got some Jurassic World Cup tops, I think they were. Uh, some loose snap squads. Some candy egg minis. Uh, some blind bag dinos. Uh, we've got the Chaos Effect Land Saber and Air Saber. And we've got some more Funko Pops. We've got the big 10 inch Rex. So these are most of the Jurassic World ones. So we've got Orn with Baby Blue. Other one, blue and Stiggy, and we've got Claire and the black version Indoor Raptor. Got the two-piece keyring set that's exclusive to the special DVD release. Uh, sorry, Blu-ray release. A couple of attack packs and loose. I've got a, a blue pop keychain at the back. I am still on the hunt for the green Raptor keychain. And that's the last one I need, with the exception of the Ian, o, Ian Funko cereal box set. Uh, we've got Ellie in the Jeep. Another couple of loose attack packs. Then we've got the... Jurassic Park Funko, so that is the Clever Girl Box Lunch Special Edition. Um, we've got the Yellow Eye Raptor and the Black Eyed Raptor. Uh, we've got the Chase Edition Dilo, the MCM Red Edition and the Standard Edition Dilos. We've got the Twin Pack Nedry. We've got Ian, Alan, John and Nedry. Uh, we've got a Lost World Bubble Bath T-Rex mixture of attack packs and a dino damage in there. Uh, a couple of more candy containers, more loose figures. That was an original Jurassic Park bath salt container. Then uh, we've got the Dino Rivals Roar of Oars line. This is a f this line's complete. We've got some attack pack Gallimimuses in front. Uh, another one of them bath salt containers. 
Then we've got the Mega Jeweler tax line. Uh, that little trike was a bubble bath bottle topper. Uh, we've got the Jurassic Park Command Compound boxed complete. Uh, that's my original one from back in the day. So all I can say is Christmas morning that year was epic. Uh, jumping up the top, what have we got? We've got a thrash and throw. Uh, Lindbergh model, Hadrosaurus still sealed. Uh, I've got the Funko Verse strategy board game. Good thing about this one, to date, it is the only uh, Arnold that has ever been made in Funko. He's awesome. Then we've got the uh, expansion pack with Ian and the T Rex. Another couple of plushy key rings, some finger puppets, got those two, and then those two up there. Uh, another couple of plushy key rings, and the rest of the Lindbergh models. I mean, look at that raptor. That is horrendous. That's got to be the worst raptor I've ever seen. T Rex. There we are, and what have we got? We've got a Hatch and Play box T-Rex. Got a 12 inch line Owen. Uh, loose Legacy Pachycephalosaurus with the, what have we got? The Lost World Humvee. Uh, couple of figures. I'm still looking for the, the missile and the stun rods to go with that vehicle. Uh, next down we have the most excellent shelf in the collection. Sorry, I know that was corny. Uh, so this is the egg shelf. So we've got the green T-Rex hatchling. We've got another Lost World hatchling in its egg and test tube. From the Lost World. And we've got the Lost World Triceratops hatchling in its test tube. Another candy container. And uh, then we've got some more of the hatch and play eggs. So we've got the Stiggy. And then when I did this before, I sent everything flying. So I'm probably not going to open them all. Uh, we've got the Raptor. Eh, T-Rex, sorry. Then we've got Blue. And we have got the Stegosaurus. Eh, Triceratops even. Stegosaurus is the one that I don't have yet. Uh, those are empty Jurassic World slime eggs. Uh, it's that one with its rubber. Uh, we've got a Jurassic Park 3 Tops candy egg. A couple of loose Lost World eggs. So that's what we've saw over there in the display boxes and things. And then these are the original Jurassic Park candy eggs that I used to get. So they came with little sweets in and those little dudes the likes of them little rubbery dinosaurs uh, what have we got next we have some more loose dinos uh, we've got Sinoceratops we've got Pachycephalosaurus we've got a Carnotaurus uh, we've got the dinosaurs Baryonyx that's the one that came with Ludlow, um, we've got the dinosaurs paint version, Demetrodon, uh, we've got the Dino Damage Medical Centre, uh, not complete, that is missing a few bits, hence why the Allosaurus is lying the wrong way around. Uh, what else have we got moving down? And then we've got the Mercenary and Stiggy Story Pack. Uh, Raptor, Blue and Owen. And Claire and Gyrosphere. And next down we have the Control and Conquer Carnotaurus. And the Carnotaurus Toro from Camp Cretaceous. Um, oh. 
and on the bottom we have the action attack Carnotaurus Stegosaurus and Sucumimus uh, we've got some Pez dispensers on there uh, where should we go next? We'll nip. Oh, well, we'll jump right up to the top. Why not? Uh, so we've got a boxed Red Rex from Jurassic Park, uh, Triceratops, and Junior T Rex right at the top there. And um, we've got a Barbie signature Jurassic World Claire, and then a '93 Jeep Wrangler Big Wheeler from Matchbox right at the top. We've then got the Legacy Collection Jeep Wrangler, got a boxed Bush Devil Tracker, Jungle Explorer and Capture Copter tucked it, hiding at the back there. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but for me personally, the artwork on these is fantastic. I would relish Mattel going back. Uh, to doing artwork on the boxes like this, even if it was just for like the Amber collection line or something like that. But I did absolutely adore the artwork that came on these boxes. We've um, got an abundance of different Pteranodons and Demetrodons, and even some dust on the shelf. That's free. Uh, we've got the Dinosaurs Black. T-Rex, we've got a loose net launcher Jeep with uh, with Orn and Wheatley in. Then we've got the Chaos Effect Thrasher, uh, Chaos Effect Alpha Raptor and Tanaconda and Imago. Uh, we've got Lost World Cup. Uh, that uh, when dinosaurs ruled the earth, that is another one of Adam's signs that he makes. I will put the link to his de to his page and things in the description below if you want to check him out and buy any of these signs that you can see. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a talking viewmaster from the Lost World and a standard viewmaster from the Lost World. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a 3D printed Jurassic Park lettering that I made. JP3 Spino. We've got the Demon Carno. A couple of JP3 T Rexes. We've um, got some of the Snap Tight model kits from Revel. So these two kits, the Raptor and the T Rex, ones that I had originally from a kid. Hence they're open and made up. And then I've got the Hunter's Humvee Snagger. Uh, new inbox at the back there. Still sealed and whatnot. Uh, we've got some Viewmaster Lost World reels and some Jurassic Park Viewmaster 3D reels. Then we'll go on to more loose dinos. We've got the Raptors, we've got the JP3 Alpha Legacy Collection, more JP3 stuff. Uh, Night Raptor. He's quite difficult to get a hold of. Uh, the Dark Days. Um, yes, we, we'll move on from Hasbro. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, going to Kenner. So we've got the Lost World Kenner Raptor in the, the bright orangey brown. Um, we've got an original electronic screamer from Jurassic Park. Uh, screamer with no teeth. Uh, we've got a Jurassic Park basic raptor, same sculpt. The Lost World used the same sculpt, but just obviously brightened the paintwork up a bit. Um, we've got a Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus screamer minus its frill. That's the one with the frill. And then if you notice, this one's got a slightly different paint job. That is from the Jurassic Park Dinosaurs line. You'll notice the the different logos on the leg and that they're the opposite way around. Um, we've got a 
Hasbro hybrid Ankylosaurus. Another couple of raptors at the back. Got a JP3 stalker raptor, I think it was called. So that one moves and walks around. Got a couple of basic Dilophosaurus under there. So these ones you would squeeze the stomachs and the bellies and then dunk the head under water and it would suck water up and then you could squeeze it and it would spit water out as though it was venom. Then we've got the hybrid T-Rex by Hasbro. Uh, we've got a loose high hide on hanging off his uh, backpack so you would press the button oh no sorry you, you pull the button out i think and then yeah pulls down and retract back up and i break things yeah pick that up in a minute young pterodactyl decided to fly off and then we've got a legacy spino loose uh, Rorovores, Metrocanthiosaurus, I think it is. Um, Allosaurus. Uh, more Hasbro stuff. Got the Mattel, uh, Destroy and Devour. Indominus. Got the Hasbro Indominus and the Hasbro Hybrid Indominus. Uh, we've got a few more small Indominus there and the Battle Damage one. Uh, and the Ceratosaurus Rorivore at the back there. Um, what else have we got? We've got some Hasbro T-Rexes and a Pachycephalosaurus. And then we've got a weird bootleg JP3 Dilophosaurus Transformer type thing minus a leg um another original spino the mosasaurus got the super pausable indoraptor and the grab and growl indoraptor um we've got a spinosaurus from hasbro uh, thrash and throw t-rex another couple of hasbro dinos and the jp3 super pausable velociraptor uh, then we'll move down what have we got on this next shelf we've got a lost world kenner triceratops we've got jp3 triceratops couple of Mattel ones, got a Dual Strike and a Roar of Awe. Uh, and we've got the original Kenner Triceratops uh, being attacked by another super pausable Indo. We've got a couple of Kenner Trice, uh, Stegosaurus, we've got the Lost World Stegosaurus, and we've got a Jurassic World Stegosaurus on the bottom. Um, we have got Fang, I can't remember his proper name now, with his capture gear. Uh, we've got a Trike Dozer, almost complete. Another couple of randoms from Hasbro, another T-Rex, another version of the T-Rex. Um, we've got a couple of JP3 things, a couple of Spinos, one doing the splits because its legs are very loose. And the JP3 net trapper car thing. Can't remember what it's called. I'm sure somebody will know the name of it and be able to put it in the comments below for me. Uh, where are we going to go next, guys? Oh, we'll jump up to the top again. What have we got? We've got the Gyrosphere Blast Vehicle. Complete with Gyrosphere. Uh, we've got a boxed Jurassic World Legacy Brachiosaur. Uh, we've got a couple of loose vehicles there. Uh, we've got a loose steel beak, JP3 Pteranodon. 
uh, Jurassic World Roar of Wars Pteranodon. Uh, then we've got this awesome piece, the Lost Worlds uh, radio control truck by Tyco. So in there, you cannot get it open properly. Oh, I can't, I'm telling you lies. There we are. You can see that beauty. So in there, the Dilophosaurus would stand up and then you could press a button and make it spit. <coughs> Bless me. Here we are, so that's that one. Ooh, if I can close it up without knocking everything down. About to get attacked by a helicopter. There we are. Then we've got a paint your own money box T-Rex. We've got the radio controlled Jeep Wrangler and Raptor set. Got a set of Hasbro Jurassic World gates and fences tucked in there. Uh, we've got Spike from the Lost World, from Land Before Time. Uh, and we've got a couple of JP3, we've got a, sorry, a JP3 Pteranodon. And I can never remember what you're called. It's another Hasbro one. Then we've got the Radio Control Textron Tiger. And what have we got next? We'll go over here. We have the T-Rex shelf. So we've got a couple of randoms. Junior Rex, Legacy 1, JP3 Mini, Lost Worlds, Junior with a broken leg cast and muzzle. We've got my favourite Rexy. But she's missing an arm. Poor Rexy. Um, we've got Junior, this is the uh, Dinosaurs line, if I remember rightly, from the Lost World Series 2. Uh, at the back we've got Bull Rex, and then we've got a JP3, big T-Rex at the front. And then we've got Roland on his dart, fighting the Rexes. Next down we've got a uh, Allosaurus, we've got a T-Rex, a T-Rex that I painted up custom for wounds, uh, bite and fight, and then this one is a original Lost World remote control T-Rex, but it's had the, the remote and everything removed because obviously it stopped working. And as you can see, it's had lots of love. It's very battered and beaten. But I think I got him for about £2, so I couldn't say no. Then we have a Lost World Uteraptor. Uh, JP3 Super Pausable Spino. Um, another couple of these random bootleg Transformery type things. But this time, the... Alpha Raptor, uh, Concave, Amargo, we've got another Roland on a dart, got Alan's bike from JP3, got a dirt snare bike, and we've got a loose Primal Pals Blue. I love you, Blue. Yeah, if you don't have one of these, get one. It's so cute. Um, we've got the Lost World Gurgle and Dino Eggs. So these are something that I have done a detailed review of for a video. So check it out. These things are disgusting and awesome in equal measure. Four of those. Let's see. We'll go over to this one here. So we have got a couple of blockheads. We've got the loose diecast dinos. Um, another 3D printed hatchland uh, triceratops that I've done painted up to look like the Kenner hatchland that came with Ellie. Um, a 3D printed mosasaur. Like I say, my paint skills and things are something to be developed on. Uh, we've got the Rip Run. 
set but i have just learned that there's a fourth one a green raptor so i'm gonna have to try and track that one down and what have we got below it we've got a radio controlled jeep wrangler from jurassic world uh, a couple of loose matchbox cars we've got the legacy five piece and we've got the vrs virtual reality game jurassic world got a little led vhs light and where are we going next we'll go the next shelf down then we've got the legacy collection story pack so we've got the muldoon uh, got robert muldoon and velociraptor and the raptor and grant uh, i do still need the ian malcolm and raptor one that's on my list of wants. Uh, Parker Brothers Jurassic Park card game. Couple of Lost World Microverse play sets. Uh, the obligatory Lost World and Jurassic Park Michael Crichton books. I don't think you can call yourself a JP fan without owning at least one of those. <laughs> Then we have got some random jigsaws and puzzles and things from the different movies and different place um, activity sets. That's the uh, the felt art, velvet art paint set thing. Uh, more jigsaws. Then we have the Alpha Training Blue. That thing is epic. Uh, becoming quite hard to get a hold of now and quite pricey when you do find it but it is awesome and uh, next over here we've done them we have the console and gaming section so this is a chunk of the games that i've got for different consoles and things all jurassic related I've got Jurassic Park audiobook on cassette and Jurassic World CD. So this is the 3D pop-out one that you've probably seen. Um, then we've got some more games. We've got VHSs. These ones are little lights. Yeah, different versions of the VHS. Um nice fossil box one three different versions of the twin pack some more books and game guides and things and down on the bottom we have got spin over this side first so we've got dvds moving into blu-rays and steel books 3d uh, lego dvd game vhs edition uh, collector's packs uh, this one this 25th anniversary one is amazing because if you notice it's got a little button on the side and when you press it That is epic for a box. Uh, I've got the Jurassic Park 3 special edition box set that came with the prints and film cell and things. And this epic tin special edition one. Uh, I won't dwell too much on those, but if you do want any more details or in-depth reviews on any of them, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, let's have a look what we've got over here and we'll get this chair out the way that I use when I'm doing my video reviews. Uh, in these boxes we have got, the one is full of the Matchbox cars, as you can see, all on card. Next one, this big white one, is full of stationery sets and notebooks and things like that, all Jurassic 
And then on the bottom is a case full of sweets and food related products. If you want me to do videos to show what's in those at any point, let me know in the comments and I will happily do that as well. Over here we have got the Super Colossal Blue in box, Super Colossal Rex in box and Super Colossal uh, Indominus Rex. Got a couple more uh, box Rexies and another Bush Devil Tracker. Uh, we've got the Growling uh, Blue Mask. Nothing's great. So open the mouth. It makes a noise. Uh, got a fox one in there. Uh, we've got the Jada diecast vehicles. Uh, still need the 6x6 in that line. We've got a Peterbilt hauler as well. And we've got the Dino Rival Super Pausable Indoor, Phone Scooter, Raptor Claw Gloves. Um, that's all just spares and duplicates for trade and whatnot. Um, I have got the Dino Rivals Dual Attacks. And then we'll go along here. We've got the sound strikes. We've got a couple of the Cam Cretaceous ones. Primal attack. Jump up on the top row. Jungasaurus, where should we go next? Uh, we've got another couple of capture copters. Then we've got the limited addiction, uh, limited addiction, limited edition uh, collector's coins. Uh, in these drawers, we've got a mixture of magazines, random small bits, stickers, all that kind of jazz. Uh, I certainly won't go through all of these in depth because it will take a week. But if you want to see anything about any of these, please do give me a shout. That's the only one at the minute. Uh, this is the desk where I actually film the videos. Where we go, we'll go up here. We've got the box, some box Jurassic Park 3 stuff. Uh, we've got the newer Battle Damage. Savage Strike size ones. Um, some Tsukudo Hobby Jurassic Park scale models. Uh, what else have we got? Got a mini blind bags three piece. Oh, and this one that actually just arrived today. Um, Jurassic Park 3 Real Coins Cinnamon A uh, Collector's Coins Set. So this is sealed brand new, but uh, inside that wallet is a set of five collector's coins. Um, what else have we got? Well, some more drawers with spares and bits and God knows what in. Um, we'll have a look down here. We have got my Kenner um, Jungle Explorers and Bush Devil Trackers. 
Um, then on the bottom shelf here, we have got Ultimate Trilogy Big. Big sleeve, um, laser discs. Uh, these are all sticker albums. So I've got, for the most, um, complete, empty, and new sealed. Um, some of the rarer ones in there is the Jurassic Park 3. That's complete. Uh, that's a French one. Uh, I've also got a complete Merlin Jurassic Park along with the complete Tops version as well. Uh, I've got a couple of random magazines and things. Then in these folders is the Tops cards set. So we've got a complete Series 1, Series 2 and Gold Series for Jurassic Park. We've got The Lost Worlds, we've got Jurassic Park 3, then we've got a complete loose set of Topps Jurassic Park stickers, Merlin Jurassic Park stickers, The Lost Worlds stickers, um, and then a load, load of other random cards and bits as well. Um, we've got Dinos, Dinosaur Trackers trading cards album, um, in these ones, we've got random bits, so comics and different carded bits. Uh, loads and loads of different Jurassic books, annuals, all sorts, survival guides, field guides, junior novelizations, makings of annuals, you name it, it's probably there. Um, up here, we have got the Legacy Collection. Gallimimus, Pteranodon, Pteranodon, both of the colour variations. Uh, Raptor, Pachycephalosaurus, uh, Young T Rex, then we've got the humans. Ellie right at the top there. And where are we going? Where are we going? We've seen those. Uh, we've seen harpoons. So we'll come down here. We have got the Chaos Effect boxed stuff. So we've got the Imago, Tanaconda, Alpha Raptor, uh, Tyrannops. Uh, we'll jump under here without getting blinded by that light bulb. We've got the Comstegnathesis. I'll put my teeth in again. Comstegnathesis. That one as well. Yeah. Um, we've got the Ankyloronodon. Uh, what have we got? We've got a box Tiger Grandstand JP game. We've got a box Spitter Watch. Um, we've got the new Sound Strikes from Camp Cretaceous. Uh, I've done detailed reviews on all of these on the channel, so you can check them out as well. Uh, we've got a load of loose, random dinos waiting for trades and things. We've got Kenner, Mattel, Hasbro in there. Um, we've got another shop display, 3D stand. Uh, quite a big thing. And then we've got the Destroy and Devour dino rivals and Primal Attack box variants. And jumping up here, we've got a box of Mike and Ike's. We've got part series of the Camp Cretaceous McDonald's toys. Um, what else have we got up here? Uh, that one, this is pretty cool. Uh, Jurassic Park balloon that would have been on a stick. Uh, how that's still inflated and in one piece. After all these years, I have no idea. Uh, you can see that it's starting to separate inside and the, the actual print starting to come off the balloon itself. But like I say, how that's actually still in one piece after all these years, I have no idea. Um, then we've got a Legacy Spino box. We've got a couple of candy sticks. Um, got a pencil case. 
uh, baryonyx breakout so we've got some more eggs uh, we've got some movie motion vision cinema slide cells so these things when you turn them when you shine the light on them and turn them you can kind of just see you get sort of a scene from the movie in it they're pretty cool um we've got the lost world press kit um we've got a the comic-con exclusive john uh, we've got barbasol cryo can um set of coasters from zavi um a dominion coaster from adam well, what else have we got? Sweet surprise eggs. Full case of. Full case of Mashems Crackums. Um, we'll move down. What else have we got? What else have we got? Uh, we've got the Doctor Collector shelves. We've got the Jurassic World Deluxe kit. Jurassic Park Amber kit. Um, gold plated. 24 carat VIP ticket. And collector's edition Jurassic Park welcome kit. Um, we've got a discovery kit at the back there. Um, we've got some cereal boxes that from all over and all different brands that have had Jurassic World promotions and whatnot. Then we've got the Grab and Growl Indoor Raptor boxed. Moving along on the bottom, we have Puzzle Pack. Uh, another big discovery kit, excavation kit, some Jurassic World novelty slippers. Um, moving up, we've got the Jurassic World special edition uh, with the Indominus and T-Rex sculpts. And then we've got the Jurassic Park trilogy special edition with the T-Rex and Gates sculpts couple of random bits or uh, aquarium ornaments and things like that um then we've got a universal studios t-rex head that contains a load of mini dinos jurassic park 3 playset off-road tracker uh super pausable indoor in the gray Cage edition box, uh, Jurassic World cinema ticket tin. Where have you got popcorn egg, twelve inch figures, Universal Studios baseball, uh, one eighteen scale diecast Jeep, sandwich tins, lunch boxes. Destructor saw sets. Uh, only got these two so far, so that's another line that I'm still working on. Uh, what have we got? We've got the charging plate and uh, thumb thumb grip set from Numskull. And uh, we've got my very quick built Dino Nest and eggs. Uh, these are actual real rear eggs. That I got, and this is actually just paper, so it was a very quick throw together custom, but it looks quite effective. And we've got a snap squad, Bumpy poking out. Hey, Bumpy, hi. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, we've got some caps. You've seen this is a pretty awesome one. Uh, I got this one from the cinema, from UCI Cinema, back in '93 when I went to see. The film that was being handed out free of charge as a gift. What else have I got? We've got an InGen one. Um, got a Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom one and a Jurassic World uh, press release one as well. Um, what else have we got? Where have I not been? I haven't been here. So we've got the at the back of there this red box. That is the DVD Ultimate Collectors box for Jurassic Park and The Lost World. So that's the one that comes with the film cells and soundtracks and everything like that. Uh, got a Quetzalcoatlus Amber Collection 
Malcolm, Nedry, Delta, and Dilophosaurus. Uh, I have got a few more of the Amber collections due for delivery this week that I've got from the States coming over. I've um, got a loose Firebeak with Capture Gear. Uh, don't have the neck collar for that one though. Um, this awesome little dude, these were called Koosh things. These weird little elastic-y spiky ball things. So that was from the Lost World back in 97. Uh, we've got the exclusive Nedry. Um, so you can make them. Dodson! Dodson! We've got Dodson here! Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. Comes with his little bag. Um, Tiny barber's hole can and slice of pie with the shaving cream on. And no wonder you're extinct. I uh, got a load of different sayings and things like that. That's cool. And next down we've got the poster art tube. Uh, actually got two of those. Got the Camp Cretaceous Camp Adventure set. And Legacy is the Nubar. Nubar? Nublar escape set. Um, what else we've got? We've got a Lego mini Raptor playpen. Um, what else? What else? Oh, this awesome mini. Uh, this isn't Lego. This is a other brands are available kind of job. Um, but an absolutely epic little mini of all the key pieces of the first Jurassic Park. Um, I've got details of that and where you can buy it over on the Facebook page uh, if you want to have a look for that one that is awesome uh, so we're just Rexy's Reviews uh, you can find us on Facebook Instagram and Twitter all with the same name uh, remember no apostrophe in Rexy's and moving down we've got the Jurassic World car track set um, a three card game another one of those bath salt things they're all over the place them things uh, I'm sure they're breeding um, we've got an unboxed uh, radio control car that we saw before earlier on um, we've got the Fnatic limited edition collector's box with the necklace keychain, cards and pin badge <laughs> Um, then what have we got moving down the bottom? We've got a bumper stationery set for Jurassic World. That's cool. It's got pens and notebooks and ring binders and all kinds in it. Um, see, another one of them bath salt things. Novelty slippers from Jurassic Park. Um, we've got the VHS DNA collectors set. Uh for Jurassic Park, so that's the VHS book, watch, and everything. Uh, that came from Anton at Retro Toy Zone. Uh, I'll add a link to his page as well in the description below. So check him out, he's got loads of cool bits. Um, Star Wars, Jurassic stuff, and all kinds. So check him out. Um, oh, what else have we got? Oh, I've got over here, we've got some. Badges. Um, there we are. Uh, that's the, the the most recent sticker album. Um, just waiting for the last couple of stickers to arrive, and then that one is finished and complete. Um, we'll jump up to the top here. What have we got? We've got another super colossal that I've painted up. With Dino Damage Wounds. Um, we've got another Legacy Brachio as well. Um, another Red Rex. Another one missing an arm. These poor Rexes, they really didn't uh, stand much chance, did they, with their arms? Uh, a couple of random bits behind the fence there. Um, original compound gates. Um, some custom flames that I had to make with a 3D pen. 
because uh, as many of you will know, those flames have a tendency of going missing. The original compound unit itself. Uh, that one does work with its electronics and everything, but I kind of get my hand in at the back of it at the moment, or at least not without destroying everything. Um, we've got another one of Adam's signs there. Don't know if I mentioned that already. There we are. Um, and where we are up the top there, we've got a Dino Tracker set. Uh, so that's the Diver and Spino. There's the Tracker Allen and Raptor. And then we've got the Toys R Us exclusive ones up there as well. And then that one, we've got the Jurassic Park USB desk wall light. Sure, worry, worry. Um, so that's either battery operated or powered by a USB plug. But that thing is fantastic. It looks awesome lit up. Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? Uh, we've done those posters up there. Have we done these posters over here? Um, a big new Jurassic Park one. And the original trilogy movie posters. Um, we'll do a quick spin round. We've got another Jurassic World poster up there. Um, and a few more as well. Mosasaurus feeding on the Great White. And then we've got Owen with his raptor pack riding through the jungle um yeah so i think that is just about it without going uh into too much detail for the likes of watching the drawers and the boxes and everything else but like i say guys if there is anything that you are particularly interested in please do comment and get in touch and I will be happy to do a video for you showing you individual pieces in more detail. Let's just do a very quick once round so you can see again. Uh, you may notice there's a couple of empty spaces on shelves and a couple of empty shelves. Um, but I have got some exciting pieces coming this week that will very quickly fill those gaps in. So don't worry, they won't be empty for too long. Do this without falling through the hatch. So there we are guys hope you've enjoyed the video i hope i haven't put you all to sleep and you're not all now in a coma from listening to my voice for over an hour so like i said don't forget to comment i'd love to hear your thoughts on the collection uh what's your favorite piece that you've seen uh what do you like the least out of what you've seen like i say if there's anything you want me to review in detail please let me know so, there we go guys, thank you for watching, uh, hit that subscribe and notification button if you haven't already done so, uh, we have got lots more exciting videos to come, so stay safe, stay in tune, stay in tune, I don't know what that was meant to mean, uh, stay safe, stay in touch, and I will check you the next time guys, stay awesome.